So this is the water bag porcupine experiment. Bit of a mouthful, but you're going to see why. What you're going to need is a bag that we're going to use as our water bag. So this is just an ordinary food bag. We might put sandwiches in or food for the fridge or freezer. Okay, make sure there's no holes in it. It's got to be a completely ba complete bag with no holes or anything. Then you get some water and we're going to pour some water in. Okay, so this is ordinary tap water. Just pour some water in. And I think put quite a nice generous amount in. Okay, now then hold it by the top. Make sure you get a good grip on this. You don't have to seal it up. You haven't got to close it. Just get a good grip as you can see here. Then what I want you to do is take one or two skewers. These are bamboo skewers. Now if you can't find them, get a sharp pencil, but make sure it's nice and sharp, okay? So a sharp pencil or some bamboo skewers. I'm going to use two here. And what I want you to do, let's say for the minute you've got one of these, what I want you to do is take your skewer, find someone's head to do it over, because that's more fun, and push the skewer into the bag and see what happens. Hopefully, this is what you discovered for yourself. Not much happens. Let's try another one. Let's try something a bit bigger. This is the pencil, remember? So the pencil is rather thicker than the bamboo skewers we've just been using here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully you can see closely. Push it in. Now I'm actually gonna let go. Interesting, eh? So, how come the bag didn't explode as you probably expected it to? Well, let me explain something. Actually, if you look carefully here, if you're looking right now, you can get a good clue about what's going on. Look at the way the pencil's hanging out. Now, I'm sure you know about gravity. Gravity pulls everything down to the ground, remember? It's pulling on the bag right now, the water, the sticks, that pencil. That pencil is hanging down because gravity's pulling it down, of course. So gravity's pulling it down. It's trying to pull it out of the bag, but obviously it's not falling, so something must be holding on to it. What's actually holding on to it is the bag itself. Some people think maybe the water is, but it's not. It's the bag itself. And the reason is, because when you make a hole in a plastic bag, it tries to close the hole. This plastic bag, like many materials, has what we call an elastic limit. That means we can bend it a bit, and as long as you don't bend it too much, it'll go back to the same shape it started in. Even glass can do this, but glass, you can't bend it much, and when you bend it too much, it breaks totally. Plastic, though, we can bend it quite a bit, and if we don't bend it too much, it will go back to the same shape. It's trying to do that now. But of course, how can it go back to the same shape? In other words, get rid of that hole because the sticks are in the way. So it ends up gripping them instead. And it grips them so firmly that hardly any of the water can escape. You get odd little drips, but hardly anything comes out. So what other things could we think about and maybe change? Well, I'm wondering straight away whether I've changed the shape of that plastic too much. Remember what I said? You can get materials and as long as you don't change them too much, they will actually go back to the same shape. The question is, have we changed it too much? Well, there's one way of finding out in a minute. But let me just push the pencil all the way through just to show you that it does actually go all the way. Because one other thing you can try, by the way, is different size sticks, can't you? I've got skewers here and a pencil there. How about trying a pin? Be careful, of course, if you're going to use a pin. But try a pin. Much thinner, isn't it? How about something like a cocktail stick or a toothpick? Try that. What would happen, of course, if we pull these out? Because remember, that's the question I mentioned just a minute ago. Have the holes closed up enough, or will they close up enough to stop the water? Let's find out. Pull out a small one. No, it doesn't. 